So our notes today are on the origins of the Vietnam War. We're going to be taking a look at um, how we ended up in Vietnam, what we were doing there. Um, but before we get into all of that, we need to figure out why, why was there a war in the first place. We should also know where Vietnam is. So if we're looking at this map here, right, we can see Vietnam. It's got the arrow pointing to it, kind of a long narrow country um, in Southeast Asia. Um, <clears throat> shares a border with China, which is important, right? Because China was a uh, powerful communist country. What we need to know about the beginnings of the Vietnam War is that it really doesn't start with the United States. It starts with France. Um, Vietnam had been a French colony for a long time. After World War II, Vietnamese, under this guy here, named Ho Chi Minh, started an independence movement and decided enough was enough. We don't want to be a French colony anymore. And they started a revolution to throw out the French. So Ho Chi Minh and his soldiers fight for years to throw the French out of Vietnam. And they attempted to, to draw similarities to the U.S. and the way that we overthrew the British. Ho Chi Minh wrote sort of a Declaration of Independence where he used some of the same language from our Declaration of Independence, almost as a way to kind of appeal to the U.S. Now, the U.S. did not offer support to Ho Chi Minh um, because he was a communist. In fact, we ended up helping France by paying for up to 80 or 90 percent of the cost of the war. But in 1954, the French were finally defeated. The, the decisive battle was at a place called Dien Bien Phu. And after that battle, France decided to give up Vietnam. So in the peace settlement, France and Vietnam decided that Vietnam would temporarily be divided into two. The communists would have control of North Vietnam, non-communists would have control of South Vietnam. And they would hold elections in the fall, uh, or excuse me, in, in 1956 to choose a government for all of Vietnam. Well, those elections never happened because the leader of South Vietnam was worried that Ho Chi Minh was going to win, so he blocked the elections. In response, North Vietnam invaded the South, and then Vietnam was effectively at civil war. President Eisenhower starts our military involvement by sending about 700 advisors to help the South. And President Kennedy later increased that number to 16,000. So that gives you some background as to what's going on in Vietnam, how we started out helping the French, and once the French left, how we started sending over military troops as advisors to help South Vietnam try to win its war against North Vietnam. 